Witness News is next, and these are the stories making headlines. Former Beatle John Lennon shot and killed tonight in New York City. Police do have a suspect in custody. We'll have details, Bob. Tucson's black police officers have accused the Department of Discrimination. And the Wildcat basketballers are in Fresno, California tonight, getting ready to exact a little revenge, they hope, from the Fresno State Bulldogs. I'm Bob Richardson. Eyewitness News is next. KBOA Television 4 Tucson. Eyewitness News at 10. A complete report with Bob Richardson and Patty Weiss. Michael Goodrich with the weather. Ron Brooks on sports. And the Eyewitness News team. Hello there, here's what's happening at 10. Former Beatle John Lennon was shot and killed tonight outside his home in New York City. Police in Manhattan say they have a suspect in custody, a man they describe as a local screwball. Lennon was rushed to Roosevelt Hospital in the past hour or so on the Upper West Side of New York City. He died there of three gunshot wounds. Lennon was in the Beatles, a rock group that revolutionized the music world in the early 60s. Fans throughout the world screamed at the Fab Four wherever they went. These are scenes in New York City in 1963 when the group received the Variety Club Award that year for Best New Group. The Beatles continued for several years putting out one number one hit after another. They broke up shortly in 1970 and each went on their own way. John Lennon married Yoko Ono and they kept producing records. He'd been living in New York City for a number of years at the Dakota Apartments. Police say he walked out of that building Evening. tonight. What you're looking at is the scene of the shooting, and there was an eyewitness, a man named Sean Strub, who says he was walking south near 72nd on the Upper West Side when he heard the shots ring out. There's blood all over his stomach also, but he's bleeding out of his mouth. the gate there and it was and then all of a sudden they heard five six shots and that was it four cops pulled john lennon out and put him into the back of a police car and his mouth he was bleeding from his mouth and he, he it was a terrible sight uh he was shot by an unknown at this time white male he was in custody at this time the gun is recovered and uh mr lennon was brought to roosevelt hospital by one of our rmp cars industrial town of Liverpool, England. He met up with George Harrison in 1958, Paul McCartney in 1959, Ringo Starr a few years later, and the rest is history. The Beatles' sound was unique and captured the public's imagination. The group would sell more number one records in the 60s than any other. In the 70s, Lennon performed as a solo artist with more success. Ironically, Lennon's death came at a time when he was making a comeback. He had just recorded his first record in five years.